Hey there, Rivermen fans. It's time once again for Trudell's Take. Hey there, fans. Welcome back to our new edition of Trudell's Take, brought to you by Health Alliance. Jason Ruff alongside Rivermen head coach Jean-Guy Trudell. Guy, it's the start of your season. A little bit delayed more than you'd like, but what are some of the positives of having an extra week to prepare before it all starts becoming real? Well, you just said the word. I, I look at everything as a positive. So we uh, we can't uh, dread on the, what happened. We couldn't play those games, so it gave us a few more days to practice, and, and we needed it. We understand this year is a tough year with guys you know, not playing for a while, and uh, a lot of my guys haven't played for 18 months, so it's kind of <laughs> nice to get another week to not only the conditioning part, but also um, I think the mental part, the structure, everything else that comes with hockey. So it's been good. We're going to, you know, take it as um, as a great thing, and we had a weekend, I think, with a little bit more team bonding, kind of get the team closer. So it's been it's been a great weekend, and it was kind of nice for the old man to be home a little bit more with the, <laughs> with the family because once the game starts, I, I won't see them much. So it's kind of, it was a nice weekend, of course. You recently also named your captaincy and your captain, no surprise to anyone, Alec Hageman, getting, uh, wearing the C on his chest for the second straight year as a Riverman. Third year wearing a letter in general. What makes him such a great leader? Um, he's, he's everything that you want from a leader. He's, uh, and I think he's the embodiment of what Peoria hockey is all about. He's a, he can play a blue collar game. He can play a skill game. Um, he's a phenomenal person, a uh, great teammate. And uh, for me as a coach, I always say you try to, you know, the, the word culture goes around a lot too much sometimes, but we truly believe in it here in Peoria, and he's the one that starts it all. I always say coaching is done the first month. But your culture, a lot of times, is brought in by your veterans. They understand how we do things in practice on a daily basis in the community. And he's exactly what we want as a captain here. And uh, he's, he's lucky this year, too, to have four great assistant captains. So as a whole, I think that the leadership group is, uh, of course, we, we'd like to put Eric Levine in there. But as a goalie, he can't have a letter. But he's, he's part of the leadership group also. And we're lucky here in Peoria. I, I said it's a hard year this year. Uh, but my core group is just phenomenal. Speaking on that core, you mentioned your four assistants, two assistants for home games, two for road games, a little bit of an unorthodox view, at least perhaps for some new fans this year. What are some of the benefits of having two assistant captains for home and road games? Well, <clears throat> there's a few different reasons I do that, and I did it for years. Um, I... I, I I believe a leadership group is more than just three people. Uh, I believe leaders come in all different types of way. We take a, a, a rumble. He's more of a quiet leader, but is when you're a quiet leader, it doesn't mean your compete level is is low. It just right. means you're quieter while you compete hard. And guys like that, I feel like once you have a letter and you're part of a leadership group, um, I think it puts a lot of emphasis on guys feeling part of that company and wanting to do more to make sure we have success. Um, and uh, Truly, the success of a team doesn't come with just three people in a leadership group. It comes from a whole team. Uh, either you're a leader or you're building leaders, and that's what we believe in Peoria. And I, like I said, I can't say enough about those those five guys, but also with like Eric Levine and Schmutex and guys that have been here before that they they understand and they love what we do here in Peoria culture-wise, and they would just want to continue it. So we're very fortunate to have those uh, assistant captains, but also everybody else on the team that's going to be part of that leadership group. Of course, all these fans are going to be really excited to see some of the veterans, the big names that they are familiar with. But of the newer additions to this Riverman squad, who has really stood out to you in training camp so far? There's a few. Uh, you know, I to be honest with you, when you haven't seen a guy on uh, on video a lot, you don't really know what to expect. And uh, with all the players got getting signed in ECHL, a lot of pickups were late. Mm -hmm. uh, we just picked up guys and try to build a team as fast as we can. But we're pretty excited about, I think, Browsen's looking really good. Uh, he's a guy that played a lot of games in the Federal League, but he's always scored 35, 40 goals a year, and he's a big body, a good winger, and he looks like his details are very good. And even today I was surprised with Nick, a lot of guys. But for us, like even getting a guy like Barry mm -hmm. that's coming in to uh, – to be, a, you know, we call it 1A, 1B. We pretty much have two number one goalies. So it's it's just guys like that that you didn't know what type of person they were or what type of players until they really see in front of your eyes. And I can't say enough, enough about their professionalism, and they just want to keep working every day to get better. So a lot of great surprises, and we just a lot of good people, too. Even guys I didn't mention, that guy, new guys I didn't know, uh, they came in with a phenomenal attitude, and they're just working every day and striving to become better hockey players. You're going into your eighth season as the head 
coach of the Peoria Rivermen. Everyone knows all the stats, winningest coach in Rivermen history, so I won't get into that. But knowing the fact that you've been able to call Peoria home for now soon to be eight seasons, how meaningful is that to you, and how meaningful is it that you are the head coach during this historic 40th season? Well, it's it's really, I mean, it's 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 humbling in a lot of ways. Uh, um, I, I just see myself as, you know, a little Quebec guy that got lucky and, you know, <laughs> made it in hockey. And now I was fortunate enough uh, eight, nine years ago when uh, Bart and John kind of took me aside and asked me to be a Riverman coach. So I just see myself as very fortunate and it's very humbling with all the big names that were here. And you see it around, you see the tradition, a lot of great hockey teams, a lot of players that play in the NHL. And, and for me, hockey traditions are very important because it kind of builds your foundation to everything you are. And we had a lot of success over the years. And being a Peoria guy, I think myself, Hageman, McPherson, all those guys, I think we have a lot of pride in not letting the people of Peoria down. So every game here at home, like we get, I think, a little bit of butterflies. I was t- telling uh, Kurt Pedler this morning, it's different when you're, it's your hometown. Like you, mm-hmm. you butterflies are there every single home games because you don't want to let people down. A lot of people here in the stands, uh, familiar faces that I've known for years and years. So um, it's 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 quite humbling, um, and it's in our 40th year, we want to make and memorable so we want to you know work towards a common goal of bringing the championship home but this year is a little different so we're going to focus on making the playoffs first <laughs> and then after that once we get there we're going to we're going to make sure we give it our all you're going to be playing a making team this weekend for the home opener that has already played a game still looking for their first win now that your season starts at home, how much more important does the quick start and using the energy of the building become? It's going to be absolutely key, especially the conditioning we're in. I, I think we have a lot of guys that are not in top condition still. I mean, in one week, you can't get guys from 18 months yeah. off to uh, <laughs> top condition. So the, the start is going to be absolutely key, and we want to make sure that we, you know, it's our home game, first home game in 18 months. So we want to make sure we make our crowd proud, and we want to early and often, and, and then after that, do what we need to do to close out the game. So uh, it's going to be a big game. We already did our pre-scout on Macon. We know what they bring, and we're just going to have to counter that with our with our best every single period. Now, Guy, last time Peoria has played in this building, it was a shootout victory against Roanoke. How excited or what kind of atmosphere are you anticipating for this building? You already mentioned there's possibly going to be some butterflies here this Friday night, but what kind of environment are you anticipating? Well, I, uh, to be honest with you, I, I hope people are, you know, here in numbers and it's going to be a lot of fun and hockey's back in Peoria. So I'm just excited, uh, you know, to be able to go behind the bench. To be honest with you, when the game starts for, as a coach and as players, it's all focus. It's 100% focus on the game. So you don't really know what's going on, but I just hope we have a lot of people People for them to see hockey again. It's been gone for so long. It's going to be nice to be here. And uh, like we said, it's a 48th season. Hopefully they come in numbers and encourage these guys to, I mean, to get better every single day. We understand that there's going to be kinks since we didn't get our, our two games. We wanted to start on mm-hmm. the road just to kind of get those... Uh, those bad habits out of the way yeah. that we, you know, we ac- accumulated over the summer. But uh, we're going to start at home. Uh, one thing's for sure: we might, we might make mistakes, but it, we're going to work re- extremely hard to make sure we make uh, Peoria hockey proud again. Guy, thank you so much for your time. Look forward to talking to you again uh, on Friday, and of course, happy birthday, my friend. Thanks, Ruff. We appreciate it. This has been Trudell's take for Coach John Guy Trudell. I'm Jason Ruff. We'll see you next week, Riverman fans.